Hey guys, this is your host Rahul from Technoria and today in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can manually update your OnePlus 3 device to the latest Oxygen OS 3.2.0 Company has rolling out this update but if you want it now then you can always do it manually and today I am going to show you how you can do this For this first you need to grab some files So go to this page, I will leave a link in the description section below so just go to that link and download the respective file for your device and then move this file to a respective folder for your convenience once you have downloaded this file just go to your device setting page and then navigate to about section there you will find build number just tap on that build number several times to enable your developer option once you have enabled your developer option go to it and then enable the usb debugging from there once you have enabled usb debugging just connect your phone to your pc and then you will see a message flashing on your device just tap on ok now navigate to that folder where you have kept downloaded file and press and hold shift and right click on your mouse then you will find an option open command prompt here just click on it now we have to verify whether our device is connected or not for this type following command adb devices and then it should list your device if your device is listed then you are ready to go now we have to reboot into the recovery mode for this type adb reboot recovery then your device will be rebooted into recovery mode Once you are into recovery mode, just tap on install from ADB and then tap on OK. Now you will see a message flashing on your device. You are in side load mode and on your PC, again we need to verify our device is connected or not. For this again type ADB devices on your command prompt and it should list your device with a message file load flashing in front of it if it's there you are ready to go now we have to flash the downloaded file for this type adb side load following with this file name and just press enter now it will start flashing the file on your device it's gonna take a couple of minutes so just go and grab some coffee for yourself and sit back do not touch anything whether on PC or on your device as it might soft break your device. So let it go. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. In my test it took around 15 minutes. So have some patience. Once it's done, don't reboot your device now. First you need to wipe the cache. Once you have wiped cache, you can reboot your device now. You need to know that first boot always take time. In my test it took around 10 minutes. So have some patience and don't panic. It's, it's gonna reboot your device. Once device is rebooted you will find the latest Oxygen OS 3.2.0 on a device and in a short period of time we had tested this device and we had found out that RAM management is quite good as compared to previous version and as you can see there is an sRGB mode enabled in your developer option so you can enable it to get more natural color reproduction on your device screen. So that's it from us guys for this video. If you have any question regarding this device then do comment below. We will be happy to answer you. If you like this video then don't forget to press the thumbs up for us and do subscribe to our video channel by pressing a subscribe button below. So that's it from us guys. Thanks for watching. This is your host Rahul signing off and like always have a nice day ahead.